What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off our last time, we have decided to engage this bunch of forces that are currently just sat here not doing anything constructive at all. Um, all they are is just a blot in the rear areas in the Persian Afghanistan region. And considering we're at the end game of fighting this campaign, I figured we may as well take them out. So without further ado, let's crack on. As I said, we are towards the end of this part, or this campaign, and by the time this comes out, you'll actually see that the my uh, Napoleon campaign is also... Depending on when this wraps up precisely, we may actually have one large vote. Uh, well, no, actually, um, I probably won't finish it in this part and the next part, so it'll probably be two separate votes still. Ignore that, disregard, I was just thinking out loud thinking out loud stupidly. Right, let's put some artillery up on this hill. Some artillery here. It's not great because of the trees. Let's put our, make our centre be uh, guards and elites for once. And let's split our infantry up into two brigades. One on the left and one on the right. Put our cavalry um, on each flank. It's pretty, pretty. Uh, what the hell is I think non-controversial? That's the word I was thinking for. Thinking of. Advance through the woods. I didn't set these guys to quick climb. Ah, lancers. Spooky hell lancers. Which I might, to be honest, I might even send in an infantry unit to finish them off. Or for support. Quick climb and houses are in. Ah, uh, they waste their shots. Another canister shot's gonna blow holes in my line. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna become a big, <laughs> a big uh, melee battle right off the bat. Good job they decided to stop. Gotta take those guns. Angry cavalry. Square, square. Artillery round shot. Drop it in on the general. Let's push the flank. So long, elephants. Mm -hmm. 
shattered, so that's them dead. Cavalry clash. goes up to the top of the hill. Come on, let's make sure you actually charge into the rear of the Gurkhas. Can you just form square? I don't know why I set you to charge. Push up to the line. That wall must be providing a decent amount of cover. Switch to round shot. You guys better reload. Bunch of PO'd elephants here come after you. Good. Front rank of elephants have fallen. Second rank. No, it's because they're engaged in combat against the dervishes down here. Chase after them, a line of infantry. Fire! Oh, they're reloading. They finally broke. So then these units form a reserve. Line infantry can st the foot artillery can stop firing. Okay, let's run the Republican Guard over here. Because the dervishes are pushing us back, but that they're, they're gonna rout before anything too spooky happens. Ok, 
Okay, let's take these guys and send them up to be a blocking force for any reinforcements that fancy their chances. Whereas these guys run over here ready to support the charge against the dervishes. They're going after my cavalry. Stuff. So the Curiosiers were there to hold them up, hopefully to do some good damage, but just to stop them from running about while we get a rear charge in. can stop firing. There we go. Charge and Hadosh is in the flank. Fear not, you fiends. Musket fire. So dervishes are good. It's too bad these some of our quite elite infantry units. Yeah, do you think a limbering your gun team right in front of the battle line was a good idea? Dying in their droves. Go on, take him out. No, damn it, I should have chased after them. Where's the armed peasantry stuck around? Just like these gunners have. The great gunners are not going to take this lying down. Didn't do terribly on the charge. Musket fire because these fusiliers are pretty darn good. Actually, 6 to 2, that's better than some skirmishes. Oh, cute, the 24 pounder stain. Let's call that a good win. 
close victory. That was not close. No. Eh, two and a half to one. It's not terrible. It's not brilliant, but it's not terrible. And I'm obviously they've routed to like the last place I'd like them to route. Eh, just recruit, just replenish in general. You're well out of it. Send this general and, his cavalry, general and his cavalry army into the mix. The swine rock. Gareth is replenishing. Okay, let's take your army. Oh, I can't. It's because I'm sieging. Okay, let's go around and fix. All these buildings. Good. Now you should be earning. Well, you're making absolute loads of money, especially more when it actually tax you. Sweet. Let's repair. At the ready. Okay, I think I'm going to go after... Let's make sure my troops are all up together. As much as possible, anyway. Let's move them up in support. Anything more? This one would be a good assault. Yes, sir. I mean, everyone around here is replenishing, which is a bit of a bummer. Forward. Ready for country. Let's make sure everyone's like, everyone around here is actually replenishing as much as they can. Sir. Yep, I think that's more or less everyone. Yes. Let's bring in Norman. Let's bring Norman into the mix instead. Break Ready this last. How big of a battle will this be? Decent sized. Weak cavalry. The reinforcing army is going to bring in lots of... Lots of artillery. Let's do it. Finally going to happen. That's been... That's going to be uh, just... This battle's been going on. If we knock out the troops here, then Gareth's going to the south and draw them into one large last battle in Satara. But then it's a series of sieges. Then actually, one thing I was asked ages ago was if I could disband all of the stuff I've got to see how much money I'd actually make within the campaign per turn. So no quick climb. But it is a series of a series of infantry actions. That's what we will be fighting. I mean, I'd rather not have. I'd rather not have the rifle and scouts. So near the. There you go, this is what I was after, because I, I could tell which unit was going to be deploying at this end, and that's why I kept trying to redeploy. I mean... about these fellows. The 159th two man. They're gonna fly too close to the sun.
it's the reinforcements coming from right at the back, right on top of the hill. This unit of general. This unit of general's bodyguard misses. These might get him. Got his buddy. Do not get him. How's that, the general? I'm not. Okay. Still, damn, our artillery was effective. These poor souls have to march up to our line. Sometimes there's nothing to say, just watch. Many men cut down. New general's bodyguard. So this poor general is going to get himself killed. Excellent shot, the artillery there. And he's dead. We barely have men on the field. The ones that are here have hunkered down. To which I have no response. I am more than happy to let them just stay still. This artillery is not shooting at who I want them to shoot at. There we go. Excellent shot. So they're dead. Everyone focus fire this unit of two man. Because they're charging. Let's see if we can break their spirit. Running straight to the tree. Does not care. Damn. Look at that. A proud unit charging, going right at us. Just gone. Cut to ribbons. This is what happens, Marathas. This is industrial warfare coming in. Ooh, another unit of cavalry. Go after them. You can use the dead bodies of their comrades as a guide. survived more so than better than other better than the last lot they might even make it to the front line okay let's pick specific targets Don't worry about 
the shit out of them now. Square, come on, so son. They were charging the square. Be predictable, damn it. Eh, I've lost a gun team, it's okay. It's not gonna change the Price of fish that significantly. Just goes to show that artillery can be so damaging as long as things the timing is right. We keep our gun is free. Okay, so where's my cavalry? Let's get you on the go. To work up. Well, actually, yeah. Actually, the next few units to come in are just are just going to be. Infantry. All that will happen is I'll just shrink my line. Why well, do I still have my gun team? They can man two, I think. Why are you steady? You should be very, very upset. Ignore the damn elephants. You stay where you are. You shoot at the elephants. These guys chase down their artillery, their artillery, their artillery, and the next unit that comes in is artillery. So they're tired, but they're Lancer Guards, so they will be more than adequate. We can at least get in this 24 pounder team, these two 24 pounder teams, and the great gun battery. Too late on peasantry. Make sure they actually kill it. Well, it doesn't matter if they do kill it or not, I suppose. It's 
especially now there's armed peasantry coming, they don't want them to slow it up. Charge the gunners of the great gun. Charge the 24 pounder, then go up and have a go with the mortars. That'll be the bulk of the offensive power of the reinforcing army gone. Speed up time, because this is the only thing that's happening. Now go out there and have a crack at the large mortars. Oh, and there's another artillery team coming in after that. Delicious. And another one. Perfect. All the slaughtered guns. Any more? Eh, arm peasantry. Just trot back to safety, lads. You've done your job. Then everyone's going to blow the crap out of this armed peasantry. The trouble is, I thought they'd be coming on the battlefield in greater numbers than this. Maybe because they've got this annoying hill to walk around. Like this, they want to come on here, but they're having to make a call to either go straight or go up. Yep, that's them gone. Okay, let's take this flank, push them up to provide a tempting target for these guys to maybe come out of their hole. Because the problem is now is we've got to make sure we actually do kill them. Because we're attacking them. So that's 20 minutes gone, so we need to actually get our skates on and push up. Bring our offensive power to bear as they join the field to make sure they route quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. Speed up time again. Run the core of infantry up fast. Why are you just walking? Like they just don't want to run. Well, fair enough, I understand that. But I'm ordering you to run. See, that's what happens. You've been shot now. Lots of bad things have happened to them I accept but okay let's stop speeding up time to be honest I might just keep the time on sped up because it's not like it's a giant army battle that's going on, it's just one unit at a time is going to get chewed up, which isn't particularly cinematic, I fear. You guys just going to walk into range. There we go. Slaughtered and killed. And these guys have actually left the hill. In which case then we will march up to the hill. Or at least somewhere like here. Okay, 
here. Route, yeah, it's just unit, unit after unit after unit, it just routes and routes and routes and routes. Although now they're starting to come onto the field in bigger numbers. Let's get you back to safety. Or at least knock you back a bit, because it looks like they are going for this wing. So what I want to happen is for them to stop, turn around, do a fire. Silly and split my force. Let's make sure our artillery is continuing. Okay, you run. Take on the lancers, riflemen and scouts. Poor old riflemen and scouts. All my artillery on the elephants. Because they're coming. will match your lances. Ah, oh, look at them rout right towards the firing lines of my own troops. The lances are out here. So the elephants are coming this way, heading towards my guns. I can now acknowledge that soon a large amount of them will all arrive together off, off of the edge of the map. Cute, a counter charge with light infantry. Let's 
continue to chase after the routing troops. Slice the light infantry to bits. Some dervishes coming back, but I don't really care. Let's just run through them. Just ignore them. Just run like this. As they follow them across the line, then they'll just get shot at. Peasantry, more Hindu musketeers, that might be it. Or are these reinforcements coming off the field over here? No, they can't be. Come on, Norman. up the hill. I think that might be. They've not got many of them left. Even if I lose a general, does not matter. Ha! <laughs> Pull it. So long, Norman. Twas good knowing you. Ah, oh, good old generals. No, that's silly. I think now it's time to speed it up because they've not got no other forces. This is all they've got left on the. On the map. The other one's going to engage in a point blank musket fire. So, how they aren't all dead, I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, let's end it there. Good old Norman. So we've cleared out quite a big of the forces near, uh, uh, near Goa. Oh, don't retreat around my armies. And forward. Sorry, Norman. Gordon Colgrove's going to take your place. Make ready. Actually, let's bring in a Mervyn Kelly. There are currently no troops stationed at this fort. Send As Norman's troops into the fort. Yes, sir. So we've got, we've got to send. Oh, we can't send you. God, these guys are just going to raid and be annoying. So what have we got? Cavalry, Indian mercenaries, lancers. <laughs> they 
There you go. I think seven units of cuirassiers ought to take care of them next turn. So even though these are, lots of these guys are quite depleted. Your humble servant. I want to bring in oh Galvin's forces are knackered. Not even looking at maximizing the experience. I just wanna get them. As many full units of infantry as I can get. Um, and then you can take yes. these scraps. Move over into the theatre. There we go. Keats, you Forward. also move over. Gathering supplies. Bennett, you also move over. So that's one, one little pocket of troops. Ready to be destroyed. Eric Fortescue. Anything more? What? You can't hit them in the Great Ashram, but you're on your way. They're going to be annoying and capture a territory. Ready for orders. Everyone else is on the move. Sir. Your orders. Charles, down. chase them down. Nathaniel. You just drive on over here. Foraging supply. I think we want to take settlement under siege. The swine. Ooh, Rock you. Stop. We're going to assault Akbarabad. However, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Akbarabad. Cheers, everyone.